You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Hi, welcome back to the Rachel LaForce Show. It's me, Rachel LaForce, and this is my show. This is going to go rapid fire. Here is why. I am really working on tact. If there is nothing to be said, then we don't need to say anything, right? I, You could set me in the middle of a room, <clears throat> put on a timer, and I could talk to no one. That's evident. Um, here's what we're really working on, especially when it comes to my purpose of wanting to help you and really move you through this work and specifically this this time period right now. So we're still in a Mercury retrograde. We're in the beginning of this whole new evolution and journey, whether you are kind of joining me for this, um, you know, like activating your life force and moving through these things. But there is <clears throat> a lot that's rapidly changing right now. And that may even be manifesting itself in a lot of movement daily. I know for me personally, uh, so here's what I'm wanting to share with you. This was the download that I wanted to share today. I was originally going to bring you a different message and this came in so loud and clear that I was like, this is what I need to share with you. It's quick, it's dirty, but it's incredibly powerful, right? It's paprika, if you will. It's the paprika of spiritual guidance, all right? Trademark. Okay. Even though things are moving fast, you don't have to move fast with it, right? Right? If things are moving, that's where we trip ourselves up because when you are doing things that are creating a sense of rapid growth, that often will be reflected in rapid movement. Um, a lot of times that, let me rephrase, a lot of times that growth actually happens when things are slow, right? So it feels like, oh, we're in the spiritual desert. Nothing is really changing for us. Uh, these opportunities aren't coming through because that's the time that your subtle energy body needs to shift. That subconscious needs to become conscious. What is conscious needs to be flushed out. When the integration happens is when you are being tasked with using that new operating system. So often, even if things aren't moving incredibly quickly, it's going to feel as though things are moving quicker than you're used to because you're being asked to use these new skills that are not second nature to you yet. So what's going to happen? You're going to be like a little kid who gets up too quick and starts moving and you're going to trip over your feet. Uh, you're going to make minor, minor mistakes. You're going to be rushing out of the house. You get in the car. Oh my gosh, I left my phone inside. You got to run back inside. Uh, you're going to go grocery shopping. You come home. Oh my gosh, I forgot the almond milk. Uh, you're going to send the email. Oh my gosh, I didn't even CC the right people. I have to go back and do it. They're going to be small mistakes that happen because you do not trust yourself yet to move with this new pace, right? For many, many months before I kept saying the same thing, I am deepening my capacity to handle stress. When I had a, you know, like a, what, a 11 month old and, um, you know, it was like renovating our house. Then I have a 17 month old. I'm getting pregnant. I'm renovating our house. I'm starting our business. Then I have two young babies. I'm still breastfeeding and I'm moving on our original work. And then I'm also starting a new thing. Some people could look at my life and say, you are doing too many things. I know for my integrity and purpose, I was doing exactly what I was supposed to be doing. What I needed to be mindful of is not moving fast, but moving at the pace that is required in order to fulfill the purpose and what it is that I'm moving to do. So what was required of me was the recognition and awareness that I was deepening my capacity to handle stress, which meant like 2017, Rachel, like I remember, um, like 
I would get a flat tire in Los Angeles and I would have the reaction as though I was the only person ever in the history of Los Angeles to get a flat tire. Okay. Also LaForce, when was the last time you got your oil changed and have you put air in the tires? Perhaps there were things that we could have done that would have alleviated something like that. Today, if I got a flat tire, you know what I would do? I'd call AAA. I'd sit in the car, I'd get on my phone and I would utilize that time for something else. Right. It would not phase me. So what happens is that when it feels as though your life is escalating or increasing in speed, perhaps it's actually not, but the universe is now giving you the opportunity to integrate these new skills. So for example, like in my own life right now, I've been talking about this a lot. I am now operating where I have two littles, um, one in daycare, one in school, now, the rules, regulations, drop-off times, everything are so similar, yet different. And this mama needs to remember which one is which, okay? So I'm now adjusting to that new schedule and expansion of life. And also, these businesses that I have been planning you know, in secret and private are now becoming public. There are other things. The tasks that I am being tasked with, some of them are getting easier but more rapid. And some of these tasks, in order to build... Uh, or begin to build an additional business, like the comedy club, for instance, um, those are getting harder. Those tasks are getting harder. That patience, that awareness that if this is meant to be, will work. So I have to get quiet. When things get loud, get quiet. It doesn't mean stop moving. Yes, this isn't a conversation about rest. This isn't a conversation about overworking yourself. What I'm wanting to share with you, the download of this guidance is just because it's moving fast doesn't mean that you have to. Because all of those appointments you're going to make it to, all of those additions you are, those auditions you're going to make it to, um, all of those new meetings because your company is merging with another one and some people are being laid off and you don't know and your job's not secure, all of those things, they're going to happen. Whether you rush them or not, whether you stress about all of them or not, you have all this family coming into town. How are we going to do it? We're integrating families. I now have new stepchildren or bonus children. Like whatever it is, <clears throat> those events are already in motion. Things in motion stay in motion. So you do not need to connect your energy to perhaps what feels frenetic. This is where these spiritual skills come in. This is where that... um self-reliance comes from. You trust yourself and you know that you can move within whatever the outer pace is. So actually Mercury retrograde, stay with me, is a great example of how we can begin to operate in such a space, right? So when things are re retrograde, it looks as though everything is going backwards, right? So it kind of messes with that uh, centripetal, uh, like part of our brain that's like, we're in motion, we're not in motion, right? Which sometimes actually can cause motion sickness because what we're viewing and what we're feeling are two different things. So very similar where you're going to feel as though you need to rush because you're going to look at the calendar for the week and there's so many things to do. Here is the skill, come back to self. It's busy, it's busy, it's busy, come back to self. We are not going to miss any of these things. All of these opportunities that are presenting themselves are presenting themselves. This is not a test for you, okay? I want you to hear me when I say that. This is not a test from the universe. I know everybody uses different language, but let me use something compassionate. You are being offered this pace of life during this phase for whatever reason. Let's choose that it is here for your betterment. It's not here to test you. It's not here for any other reason but to support you. And right now, what is being required of you is to come back to self and trust that this pace of what is happening right now, these challenges that are presenting themselves are here for your benefit, period. That is the consciousness shift that we are going to be taking into the next few weeks, into the next few months. Uh, nay, may I offer into the rest of this year. Now, again, typically even the, the end of the you know, year, so arbitrary, but um, things tend to naturally slow down. We can even look at that in the Zodiac, right? Like things kind of like, ooh, we're kind of coming into some slower energies. Um, and we could talk more about that in, uh, in the next few episodes of kind of preparing us for these big energy shifts that are going to be coming through. 
But for now, and there are going to be a few more pockets of time where this same energetic, like earthly energies are these almost obstacle courses that you are going to be presented with are going to pop up. So we are not going to fear them. We are not going to give more energy to them than needs to be. Write it down in a calendar, put it in your Google calendar, whatever it is that you do, repeat back to yourself what it is that you need to repeat back so you don't make mistakes, go to sleep and let it go. We're going to hit the mark. Okay. So when things get frenetic, you need to come back to self. We are trusting that these things are happening for our betterment, not our detriment. Okay. And we are releasing outcome. Because we don't have to question why are all is this happening or, oh, if I get this thing, it's going to change my life or, oh, if I get this audition, oh, if I get this promotion, what is happening right now is the universe. If you look at like a, a snow globe and you take it and you shake it up right now, what's happening is the universe is shaking things up in your orbit, so to speak. And some of those things are meant to land. And some of those things are meant to just readjust themselves. So you don't need to run around you know, like a jester trying to catch every single one. The things that are meant to fall in your hand will fall in your hand. The things that then fall to your side eventually will come back to you. So again, these shakeups, these things that are happening, these challenges, this new pace is happening for your betterment. I'm going to leave you with this. Uh, I pulled a card uh, just a bit ago. And this is the air element card. This is from our subtle body energy deck. Okay. And this looks like a tornado and behind it are a lot of dark elements and it's swirling and swirling and swirling. And then up top here, it is naturally, it's become more, it was dark, then more gray and then more white. So you are the alchemist. Okay. This is the image that I want you to think about as you feel this energy that is swirling, this new physical energy that you're adapting to, all of these new changes is that you are being asked to alchemize at a faster pace than you are used to. But again, what we did in secret, what we did in private is now being asked of us to activate and integrate. Okay. So although it may feel like a swirling tornado, you are allowed to live in the white and move forward. Okay. More on this card, uh, in the sub stack this week, I'm also going to be going over our third card for our five point energies. Okay. For, uh, what we are going to be moving through with this activating the life force. The last two weeks we read the heart activation card. Then we read the success card today on the sub stack. We are going to re be reading about the community card. So You can head over to sub stack. Uh, for that full video. This was short and sweet. Send me your DMs. Let me know if this resonates. This was a huge, powerful thing for me to go, ah, disattach and come back. That that's where the power is. The power is in the inside. The power is in our body. It is in our knowing. And so we are going to be able to move through this season. Lickety split, no problem. Okay. Get out there. We need you. This work is not easy, but it is beneficial. And we're going to move to the other side. Let me know how this message hits for you today. I'll see you over on Substack. There are still spots available in my upcoming workshop. All of the details about that are going to be in the show notes. That workshop is kicking us off on 9-8. There are 34 of you now signed up for that, I believe, 34, 36, uh, to join us for that workshop. I am so excited for all of you. Uh, and there's going to be so many fun things happening. I will see you there. Love you. Mean it. Time, weather, and